Once my child entered the age of nursery, I wanted to buy him a toy that would make him more creative and inspire his own imagination and creativity. Um, I always thought about having a wooden toy rather than one of the new traditional toys because I think they're more environmental friendly, they have more longevity, and they can be passed easily through generation. And I wanted something a little bit more traditional. And I did find Abacus to be a very inspiring uh, wooden toy, despite the fact that it is quite old, but there is lots of things that you can do with it. And it definitely improves the development and the cognitive functions of your child in this age group. And that's why I've decided to make an, a video just entirely on how Abacus can be a useful toy for your child in this age group. So let's see. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button below so that you can uh, be updated about similar videos in the future. As a child, I really loved Abacus. It was actually my favorite toy. And I was very keen to uh, get my child to learn how to use this toy quite early in his life. If you enter any nursery room, you'll find that there is lots of toys available to the children. And I always get puzzled of which toy is actually the best for a preschool child. I always wanted a toy that would promote creativity, critical thinking and imagination to my child. I also wanted something that is environmental friendly, doesn't use batteries, pretty much unbreakable and has a bit of longevity in it. I wanted a toy that my child would love and would potentially keep it for a couple of years, a toy that has lots of potential in it and can be passed down generations as well. The availability of touch screens and children sitting on tablets more than ever before and lots of mobile apps that provide games for children. I wanted to have a toy that would be simple to promote creativity in my child. If you look deep in your uh, cupboards, in your garage or ask your parents, you'll probably find an abacus somewhere stored or available with one of your family members. You can start using Abacus as a toy quite early in your child's life. Um, it actually promotes tactile sensation and hearing in a very young age. Also, you can start using it as a way to help them to differentiate different colors and develop this mental uh, recognition of different colors. And as your child starts to turn probably the age of four and above, you can start using this uh, toy as the basis of mathematics and I'll show you how you can do that. The first and the most important thing that you do once you buy your abacus is to start counting from 1 to 10. Do it yourself, show your child how you do it. Speak loudly so that your child can appreciate the sense of number. Counting from 1 to 10 quite early in the child's life will help them develop the mathematical concepts. It will also improve their readiness to school and it will um, help, help them understand things like addition and subtraction quite more easily in the future. Surely the first step is to use abacus and to count from 1 to 10 as it, as it is shown in the video. Do it a few times yourself, always speak loudly and then get your child to do it after you and correct them if they are wrong. When you first start using the abacus with your child, make sure that they actually touch the object. This is quite crucial. It helps to develop their tactile sensation. Do make the lessons short so that they enjoy it. Take every chance to have um, a lesson. Be creative about building opportunities and try to do it every day. Most children actually are born with innate mathematical ability. It's just the fact that you need to build confidence and positivity and encouragement is the key to do that. Once your child is more confident with the first few steps, start to increase the tasks, do it in small increments. 
that they don't become overwhelmed. The next step is to start counting tens. It's quite crucial that you do it again on the abacus using tactile sensation. Use songs to, to make it more exciting. Do it loudly. Combine the counting process with writing numbers on paper. Again, once your child is more confident at this level, it's time to move one step further. Do the same process for counting fives. It is important to establish routine. The more you practice, surely you'll reach higher goals with your child. One more thing you can start doing with the abacus is to start doing patterns with your child. Again, make sure that your child understands the numbers behind those patterns, get them to touch the actual uh, abacus. It is challenging to, uh, for the child to understand what patterns mean. Actually, challenging your child is a healthy thing. Challenge paves the way for developing. Get your child to challenge themselves and to try to do it themselves. It will improve their logical thinking. Once your child understands what patterns are, try to get them to do different patterns so that they firstly understand what a pattern is and secondly so that they can appreciate more the value of the numbers. As you can see, Abacus actually has endless potentials. Once you start using it routinely, you'll find, you'll find that your child actually loves it. It is fun, it is enjoyable by both the child and the parent. What I do love about Abacus is that it can be used beyond the preschool age. It can be used to learn basic mathematical problems. I'm not going to cover this in this video, but surely Abacus can be used as a tool to, to learn or enhance the learning of basic mathematical problems like division, multiplic multiplication, addition, and subtraction. It is one of the best toys to stimulate the mind and develop thinking skills. It does have lots of potentials from the color beads that can help your child to develop the recognition of colors early in their life to the open-ended play games that you can use. It is important to know that not every child is born smart and actually intelligence is an acquired gift. Uh, using educational toys will help improve the cognition and will grow the minds of your kids. And in my view, I see that Abacus is one of the best gifts that you can buy to your child quite early in their life. Let me know in the comments whether you would agree with that or whether you would consider buying an Abacus this year uh, for your child. With so many different toys to choose from as a parent, we can get overwhelmed when trying to decide what to buy for our kids. Ideally, the toy should be safe, affordable, durable, not to mention have some role in developing their mental and physical skills. And I can see that Epicus actually ticks all of these boxes. While plastic toys are varied and easily available, wooden toys are often overlooked. They actually have lots of benefits and easily compared to bright interactive plastic toys out there. One of the primary advantages that Epicus toys have is that they require a child to use their own imagination to play. And play in the beginning stages of a, of a child is crucial for the development and growth of their brains. The advantage again of Abacus is that they don't have an electric, electric component or a voice command and they don't have a battery. Uh, they don't have any instructions for your child on what to do. This allows your child to use their reasoning skills in doing any activities, have an imaginative play and surely develop intelligence and a mathematical mind. On the biological side, using Abacus actually helps your child to begin to exercise their fine motor skills and hand coordination with a wooden toy instead of simply pressing buttons or watching a screen. And in my view, that's quite crucial in the modern world where children are overusing screens and gaming.